Well, that was a hell of a year, wasn't it? Between the Rona, MCC's staggered release, and Infinite being delayed, there was no shortage of things happening throughout 2020. And 2020 is off to a great start, ain't it? But for now, let's put that out of our minds and focus on the magical month of December and take a look back at it. Starting things off is, of course, in case you missed it. Four videos were released in December last year. First up was an overview of the Halo Infinite update from the start of December, followed by a breakdown of the latest cannon fodder from around the same time. We then moved on to the Halo 3 Equipment Armory video, and closed the month out, and the year, with a look at Halo 3 ODST's armory, or more specifically, the changes between Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST. All of these can be found in the description box below. Next up we have official news and releases. Being December, the amount of news was overall light, but the stuff that did drop was pretty significant. Starting things off was a new cannon fodder, in which the next Halo book was announced, Halo Point of Light. Written by Kelly Gay, the book will continue the adventures of Ryan Forge, starting in August of 2558 and going to who knows when. I know I'm excited to see how she handles the Guardian Awakening. The book is also special, as the cover art has been done by William Pixel Flare Cameron, a man who has done some amazing Halo art over the years. Congrats to Will once again, and I hope to see more stuff like this from 343 going forward. Halo Point of Light releases on March 2nd, 2020. December 8th was 343 Day, and saw the release of a huge Halo Infinite blog post going over changes since the July 2020 demo and going into multiplayer for the first time. It also noted that we can expect more updates like this in the near future. December 10th saw the announcement of Master Chief coming to Fortnite. December 15th was big, seeing the final MCC blog of 2020. With the collection quote-unquote complete on PC now, the blog focuses less on what's coming and more on looking back at the hurdles and challenges of the last year, notably with a huge graphic showing just how much players have been tearing through the games and how many bugs were fixed in each. Of course, this doesn't mean MCC is finished, as there is more content to come. Season 5 is right around the corner and we can already see some of that content in the game right now. But going back to the update, it includes a number of looks at other aspects of MCC that haven't previously been covered. First up is an interview with Toros Kose, I hope I got that right, one of the main men behind MCC's amazing menus over this last year. Following that are testimonials from several members of the team and look back at some highlights of 2020 for MCC, such as Outpost Discovery or <laughs> the pizza. So much pizza. Closing out the blog is, as usual, a state of the game update. Notably, Farns here states that current MCC plans bring 343 to 10 seasons of content, which will certainly be interesting to see. They also talk lightly on mod support, saying that it will be a primary focus for the team this year. I can't wait for that, and moreover, to see what the community is able to do. I still really want to see Blue Team inserted into Halo 3's final cutscene. That would be my dream mod, but I digress. Moving on, December 17th saw a massive community update, going over a lot of what we've already touched on, but also dropping four new images from the set of the Halo TV series. We get a crate, some BR-55s, a Songheili hand, and most interesting of all, Jen Taylor in what looks like a Forerunner Ruin, one reminiscent of those seen on Delta Halo. I'll be interested to see what that is in the show, even with my misgivings about it. God damn, this thing's been a roller coaster. December 18th saw a rather sobering announcement, the ceasing of Xbox Live services for Xbox 360 Halo titles in December of 2021. While we have almost a year before that, at the end of the year, no later than when the announcement was made, Halo Legacy titles will no longer support a lot of Xbox Live services. Notably, this means no multiplayer, among a few other things. 343 released this graphic that shows what will and won't be impacted, and notes that more details will come throughout the year. I'm especially curious what it means when they note that Reach and 4 player customization won't be supported. I'm guessing, I'm hoping that just means you won't be able to unlock anything else, not that you'll actually lose stuff. But hopefully we'll get some actual details. Still, don't get too upset about this as LAN, custom games, campaign, and other services slash features that don't require Xbox Live will still work. The games aren't suddenly going to shut down and never be usable again. Basically, think back to the shutdown of classic Xbox Live services in 2010, at least, that's my assumption. And that basically wraps up the official Halo news of December 2020. 
Again, light, but worth discussing. However, one thing I want to mention is something that's not really official news and not really community content either, but something I absolutely have to mention. In December, Bungie's former cinematic artist and director, Lee Wilson, released a ton of his Halo 2 cinematic storyboards, which, among other things, reveal details on Halo 2's original endings. There are a ton of graphics, and I hope to talk about them this month. Fingers crossed. With that, though, we move on to the final part of these recaps, the community shoutouts. First up, we have a cinematic retelling of the Halo saga presented by Star Wars Jabaro. Editing together game cinematics and other footage, parts 1 and 2 have been released as of this recording. Head on over to Jabaro's YouTube channel to check it out. Next up, we have a beautiful mashing of Halo and Cyberpunk by LZ, made for a thumbnail for Uber Nick. It's absolutely beautiful, so be sure to check it out on Twitter. Next up is something that makes me very disappointed. In myself, that is. I'm disappointed that I only found this channel in this past December. Halo VFX is a channel dedicated to making high-quality animated Halo content. If you've heard of or seen the Astartes 40K series, it's basically a Halo version of that, at least I think so. Two episodes in the channel's project, Operation Charity Falls, have been released, along with a ton of videos looking at various assets and work that go into this series. If you like what you see and want more, consider supporting the project on Patreon. Links are, of course, in the description box below. After that, we have an adorable Halo slash Peanuts mashup, courtesy of The Kraken on Twitter. Be sure to check it out. Following that is an awesome paint-up of the Nerf MA40 by Natalie Paints on Reddit. Head over and check that out. And after that, we have the Arbiter just prancing about with his friends. Check out the artist, Rosa Ivy, I hope I got that right, on Twitter. Next, we have this amazing piece of The Chief on Requiem by Victor Sales on Twitter. The quality here is spectacular, so be sure to check it out. Next up, we have the artist Ruben with a classic Halo Banshee in all its purpley glory. Check it out on Twitter. After that is something pretty special, a look at Halo CE's lost story by C3 Sabretooth. Over on Bungie.net are a ton of old CE storyboards, though they lack any coherency at first glance. C3 downloaded them, finding the file names revealing the order they were meant to be seen in. He then took the storyboards and, to sum it up, made them into an animatic revealing certain lost elements of Halo CE's story. The opening of his video goes into a lot more detail on the process and what he ended up doing to bring this all to life. It's an amazing piece of work, and I can only imagine how much time and effort and just sheer madness it took to put it all together. Check it out if you haven't already, and consider subscribing. Next, we have a couple Sangheili playing in the snow by Lady Ahiru. I love her art, so check her out on Twitter. After that, we have some really cool flood infection forms created by Planet Alex Projects on Reddit. Check it out. Our next shout-out goes to Neo Spectrum 6 with this ODST slash Warhammer 40k kit bash. In other words, creating ODST models using, among other things, 40k miniature parts. It's really cool, so check it out on Reddit. Following that is a great set of Mjolnir Mark VI mod armor created by Twitter user Keanu Raves. Be sure to check it out. Next up is an amazing winter scene created in Halo 5's Forge, inspired by Halo Infinite and appropriately made by user Infinite Forges. I will never cease to be amazed by the capabilities of Halo 5's Forge mode. Check out Infinite Forges on Twitter. And our penultimate shoutout goes to Halo Hotshot with a Christmas-themed screenshot. Check it out on Twitter. Wrapping up this recap is, of course, the Halo Community Spotlight over on Halo Waypoint. Though there was only one in December, it was full of the amazing community content we've come to enjoy, and plenty of it with a Christmas or holiday twist. Be sure to check it all out. And of course, check out all the creators mentioned here today. Links, as always, are in the description box below. And remember, if you want to see anything in particular shouted out, let me know in the comments, be that your own or someone else's work. I know it can feel odd to promote oneself, but take it from me, if you don't, others aren't likely to either. Push your own content. That's what you need to do. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching. This has been Halo Cannon. I'll see you all next time, Cannonites. 
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and if you really love me, hit that notification bell and leave a thumbs up. These both really help out the channel. I wouldn't be where I am now without your views and support, so once again, thank you. Keep on being awesome, Canaanites.